Once upon a time, there were two little kids who spent all their free time in their top secret tree house. Taking everyday objects and making extraordinary creations. Always dreaming of magic and illusions of grandeur. One must be very careful what you dream about, for sometimes your dreams just might become reality. Reality. Katie Bar Rocket! I've always enjoyed acting, I've always enjoyed doing all that stuff, being in the business and I think it'd just be amazing if like I could be like maybe a producer for something one day or I, I just think that'd be really fun. We would love to just inspire children and to show them that they can reach any of their dreams and goals no matter what their age are if they just work hard enough. Ladies and gentlemen, Silver Dollar City proudly presents a Kid Magic with Kate and Bart Rocket and Brooklyn. Well, this Sunday evening, the world's youngest professional magician and illusionist will be performing at the American Bank Center. You're talking about brother and sister Caden and Brooklyn Rocket. They'll be showcasing their unique take on magic. Life on the road as a touring artist is no easy task, especially when you're being chased by paparazzi and still trying to get your homework done on time. Caden Bart Rocket is the world's youngest professional magician, and his magical assistant, Brooklyn, are performing here on the... America has fallen in love with Caden Bart Rocket and Brooklyn Nicole. They're illusionists, they are ventriloquists, they are actors, they are extremely talented. You may have seen them um, everywhere from Rush Hour to maybe NBC in the past. Our next guests are international sensations. After winning over the judges in America's Got Talent with their magic acts, this brother and sister team, Caden and Brooklyn Rocket, are touring the world. This kid magician will blow your mind. One, two, three, blow. We've got magician Caden Rocket and his assistant. Um, we've been to 40 countries since in the last 12 months, and wow. it's been crazy. Hey, how's it going, guys? Oh, hey. How you doing? Caden and Brooklyn Rocket at LAX. They are the kid magicians from America's Got Talent. Oh, I love them. Two of you are the coolest kids, and I'm sure they're going From Kate and Brooklyn! Please welcome the youngest professional illusionist in the world. All the world. Brother and sister duo, Kaden and Brooklyn Rocket. Welcome Kaden and Brooklyn to the show. I Hi got guys. Kaden and Brooklyn this Rocket. This is like <laughs> real life Harry Potter, Here's right? Kaden Bart Rocket.
Are you having some fun? Yeah. We can't hear you. Oh, come on. You guys are having some fun. That's more like it. Now let's get started. Well, uh, originally our dad had a theater here in Branson, Missouri, and um, Magic has always just been kind of a hobby since then. I would always watch him from backstage in my little playpen and literally try and imitate, and it was just fun to, you know, do magic. It's always been a hobby. One of my first memories of doing an illusion with my sister was, um, I think when we were around three or four years old, I made her disappear on a little coffee table. That's probably my memory too. I yeah, just threw up a cloth and he made me disappear like three or something. That's all I remember. There's so many different little elements to putting a show together, to the clothes, to the timing, to the, obviously, the magic tricks that we're gonna have to do. We pick new music a lot because, you know, we try to keep it fresh. Music, video packages, um, editing, all of that stuff really can make or break a show. Honestly, one of our bigger goals here with this show is to um, inspire kids because we really want to show kids that they can live their dreams at whatever age they want and we're kind of living proof of that. getting worse and worse and worse. I better cut the rest of these jokes before you guys all split on me, eh? No? Okay. You know, for years, people have always thought 
that magic has been done with mirrors. I'm going to take a minute right now to show to you guys and to prove to you guys that all of this time that you've thought that magic has been done with mirrors, you've been absolutely right.
hold on to this. Now everybody, let's pause for a moment to recap. We have brought David on stage. He has written down his serial number and signed his bill. Kaden? Hi, nice to meet you, David. I'm Kate. Now, David, what I'm gonna ask you to do is to hold on to the serial number from your bill, and I will hold on to your bill. Everybody, would you please watch very, very carefully. Now, do not worry, everyone. That is only an illusion. Unless it doesn't go back together in just a moment, then that right there is called reality. One, two, three, four pieces I just tore your bill up into. Now, most people don't really think that I tore this bill up. If you look very close at the look on David's face, though, you can tell I did. Here, David, I'm gonna need your help with this one, okay? On the count of three, I'm gonna need you to blow right here on my hand, okay? Ready? One, two, three, blow. <laughs> Said blow, and that's the David. Blow. Blow under the hand. There we go, that's more like it. Now everybody, not only has David's bill gone back together into one solid piece, but David's bill is actually turned invisible right there in the palm of my hand. So you guys have seen this one before, have you? Yeah, that, uh, yeah he's not looking too happy about that one, is he? <laughs> Um, oh, you know what, David, I have an idea, okay? How about I make a deal with you, okay? How about I buy your dinner? Uh, Speaking of dinner, where's my sandwich? Perfect. Here, can you walk it up here? You wanna go grab that from her? Here, just go grab the sandwich. Once you have it, walk it right back up to the front of the stage. Here, uh, David, I got an idea. Can you, uh, bust open the sealed package? Yeah, just bust it open. I want you to pull out the sandwich. Pull out the sandwich. Now, I want you to break the sandwich in half. Just break it in half. If you do break it in half, you should see that there is something inside the sandwich. Pull it out. Pull it out. Pull it out. Ooh, that looks sticky. Here, I want you to unroll it. Unroll it. That, uh, that looks green. That looks like money. That looks like not just any ordinary money, but it does in fact look like your money. Can you read out the serial number? MG8843007529. Wash your bill off with. Wait, wait, don't do that. That's called money laundering. Everybody, give David a big round of applause!
Just in the past two years alone, we've gotten to circle the globe twice and visit 40 different countries around the world. And it's been an amazing opportunity, but people are always asking us the exact same questions over and over and over again and repeat. So I thought I'd take a minute real quick just to answer a few of the most asked questions. One of them is, well, how did I get my start? Well, I actually got my start doing television commercials at Hollywood. Our big break came when we were asked to play the mini judges on season six of NBC's America's Got Talent. I was four years old, and my sister was only three when we went on live television as Minnie Howie Mandel and Minnie Sharon Osborne. Access Hollywood had us on, and from there we signed a management contract. I went on to star in several movies including Dark Skies with Cherry Russell playing my mom, and was nominated the creepiest kid in Hollywood for my performance. You might remember me as Cootie Man from the McDonald's commercials, or for being pushed off a 25-story building on CBS's Rush Hour. That's where I became the youngest kid in Hollywood to do my own stuff. As for our schooling goes, we actually do our schooling online. No matter where we are touring in the world, we can contact our teachers and keep up with the rest of the class via the internet. On an airplane? On a tour bus? We actually have a special cabin dedicated for our schoolwork. Traveling the world is also a big part of our education as we visit many of the places we study about. Everybody, please welcome back to the stage my sister, Brooklyn Nicole Rocket. Now, my sister Brooklyn's holding in her hands our toolbox. Over here, we have four pair of regulation police handcuffs, which she will be passing out to the audience for your examination. You want to check those out? Just pull on them, tug on them, make sure they are real. There. And there. Just pull on them, tug on them. Make sure they are real. You can take those. There. Word of warning, do not lock yourself up. It does not end well and is not fun. There. Well, nice and tight. We got some right over here. And we'll take those. Whoop. There. Lock them up. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. And there. And take these. Thank you. Tight and last ones, thank you. Lock them up. Nice and tight. There. Now, right over here, we have our emergency kit, which is only for emergencies. Now, in our emergency kit, we have some bolt cutters. You watch after this. There. A box of bandages. And another peanut butter jelly sandwich. Because somebody stole our last one. Right now, everybody, we are going to attempt to do something that no kids have ever done before. It's our live show in Silver Dollar City, and it's time to raise the bar.
this show specifically, we've been working on this for the past year, two years or so. We, you know, we've been working on little elements of it. It hasn't necessarily been, we've kind of figured out the show as we go. Yeah, that's when we really started, really? like, hit it hard. Okay, this, this is our next project. We gotta start working on this hard. We gotta make this the best show that it could be. We just enjoy the breeze for a second. Okay, okay moment taken. Okay, continue now. Sorry. <laughs> I just had to take that moment for a second. This is the Brenton Bell, located approximately six miles from here on beautiful Table Rock Lake. At 278 feet long, she weighs 2.5 million pounds and can carry up to 700 passengers plus crew. Right now, we are going to take you on board for a sneak peek at the magic live from the Branson Bell. You're looking at a live shot of the showboat Branson Bell, getting ready for their afternoon cruise on the beautiful Table Rock Lake. Our assistant, Greg, is holding the camera. Hey, Greg, if you're near us, can you give us all a little wave hello? Hi, Greg. Now, as you can see, we have set up a platform with an empty plexiglass box on top of it. Uh, hey, Greg, if you can hear me again, can you show us all sides of the box? Like, bring us back behind it, show us all sides. Thank you, Greg. Now, this is a live shot. It will not cut away. You guys will be able to see exactly what you would see if you were on the Branson Bell live today with Greg. My sister, Brooklyn, has brought her own plexiglass box. Uh, let's see, you ma'am, can you stand up? Yeah, we're nice to come stand right over here. Hold the box, don't tilt it or turn it because it can't come apart. I need to borrow a $20 bill from the audience. Everybody reach inside your wallets, pockets, pull out a $20 bill. Other items I can use are a driver's license, credit card, picture of the kids or grandkids. Sir, may I borrow your sock? Yeah, you'll get it right back. Let's see, anybody with a 20? Anybody with a 20? Uh, oh, you have a 20. Yeah, thank you very much. Now I'd like a $100 bill. <laughs> Again, as a reminder, other items I can use are a driver's license, credit card, a picture of your kids, or great kids waving my pie in the air if you have them. You don't have your sock? Thank you very much. Ooh, smelly. Sorry, I have to smell this. Uh, place it inside the box. Sorry, I have to smell this. Place it right there. Let's see, I think I see a driver's license right here. Yeah, thank you. Anybody with a credit card or a picture? Anybody with a credit card or a picture? I think I see a picture right over here. Okay, I'm gonna come over. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, there's a credit card. Yeah, thank you very much. Now, everybody, remember what these objects look like in case you should ever see them again. Remember what they look like. Remember, we're gonna take these objects, place them inside the box with the sock. Let's see, uh, ma'am, have you finished writing down the serial number? You have? Thank you very much. Uh, here, let's see. Can you check and make sure that's the correct serial number for me? Yeah, just make sure that's correct right there. Let me see, let me see. Uh, oh, perfect, you ma'am. Uh, may I borrow your ring? Yeah, you'll get it right back. Now, everybody, remember what this ring looks like because if anything goes wrong tonight, it is all her fault. She has your objects, not me. Remember what that looks like. Inside the box. Is that the correct serial number? You hold on to the serial number, I'll hold on to the bill. Hey Greg, on the Branson Bell, can you cover up your box? Yeah, just cover up your box. Now, while Greg is covering up his box, we are going to cover up our box. Everybody, watch. You will not believe what you are about to witness. Before 
that in red. Uh, yeah, do the bill. Ignore the sock. It's a little smelly. Yeah, let's see the bill. Here, let's write out that serial number. Let's see. Uh, MH3927. One, zero, two, four, and C. Guys, let's give a shot at this. MH3927, one, zero, two, four, and C. Next item, Greg. Uh, oh, there's your credit card. Next item. Uh, oh, there's your picture. Next item. Uh, oh, there's your driver's license. Who had the driver's license? Or you got your driver's license, correct? objects back. The Brenton Bell has daily cruises. <laughs> All you have to do is ride one of the cruises and when you're done, they'll, uh, <laughs> that's a no. <laughs> yeah, a couple people in the crowd aren't looking too happy about that plan. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess we could always go the plan B.
ladies and gentlemen, today's Caden Bart Rocket and Brooklyn show dancers are Rosie, Ava, Sasha, Ocean, Lily, and Madison. And ladies and gentlemen, the stars of our show, Kada, Bart, Rocket, and Brooklyn.